This is a split flap display and it is a digital electromechanical display device that presents changeable alphanumeric text or as I say it, it shows you numbers and letters. These displays were often used as a public transport timeable in airports or railway stations. They were also often called Solari boards after Italian display manufacturer Solari di Udin. Udin Udin. Solari di Udine. Yes, that. Or in some or in Central European countries, they were called Pragatron after the Czech manufacturer. But enough about that, now let me explain to you how it works, or to be more precise, how I made them work in this project. So flaps, they contain all the display information and firstly, we will start with our ABCs. And have you ever noticed that A looks like an Among Us crewmate, coincidence? So flaps contain letters and numbers, but they can also contain symbols like plus, minus, dot, slash, or even graphics like plane, train, bus, or anything else. For my own split flap, I used English alphabet of 26 letters, and I used 0 to 9 numbers, which comes up to 36 symbols. Since two flap sides represent one symbol, I will need 36 flaps. And one more reason why I chose 36 symbols is because it is much easier to calculate the angle of rotation since the full circle is 360 degrees. Before explaining forward, I needed to design and 3D print the parts. And after a few long hours of designing and printing, I put it all together in the short montage. Once everything was printed, it was time to give flaps their appearance. And oh boy, let me tell you about it. I have tried super gluing letters and almost glued my eyes shut. I have tried trafferating them and it looked like crap. And I tried cutting out stickers, which actually went well. Then it was time to put flaps into the spool. And if anyone out there will try to replicate this project, let me give you an advice on how to assemble everything without losing your sanity. First, you need to set the top of the flap holder and then gently lift the spool top together with the flap and then place it at the bottom. And hooray, you did it! Or you broke one of the flaps and lost a bit of your sanity, like me. However, after a lot of effort, the spool is done and check it out. and the sound it makes. Amazing. It was time to ready the case and launch the test run. So I designed and printed a front panel for the split flap case and then super glued them together. And of course, I super glued four of my fingers in that process. And so it was time for the first test. So everything works just fine, well close to fine. So now let's talk mechanics. In here there are two main parts for split flap to work, the case cover and the flap stoppy thing. The cover lets us control which exact letter we will show and if you try to run a split flap without it, 
Well, this happens. So the cover stops the kneaded flap letter and only after a 10 degree spool turn it will drop down the flap and change the letter. The stoppy thing stops the flaps and it really looks unimportant. However, it is very important for two reasons. One, it stops the flap at the bottom and once they drop down they don't wobble anymore. And the second reason is much more important because it makes that unique satisfying split flap sound. Okay, now let's talk electronics. There are three main components for a split flap display module. First, of course, you need a motor that spins the split flap spool, thus rotating the flaps. So here I chose the cheapest stepper you can find on the market, and it comes with pre-made driver board. The stepper motor is 28BYG48. Then you need a hall sensor, and I am using this hall sensor module, which gives out logic signals. You will also need a magnet for a hall sensor to react to. And of course you will need some sort of microcontroller to control everything and I am using Arduino Uno here to control this exact split flap display module. Now why did we need a hall sensor here? Well let me put it this way. There is no way to know which letter the split flap is displaying except for our eyes. But if we put a magnet somewhere on the spool and a hall sensor on the case, we can find the null position by rotating spool and detecting the magnet. Now I don't know if you're interested in code or not and probably not, but let me show you the algorithm of how it works and you can find the whole code in my github page. The split flap starts by searching for a starting position and the stepper spins the spool until hall sensor detects magnet, thus finding the zero position. Then it starts sending commands to a stepper for a specific letter. The commands are sent by absolute degrees rotation to a specific point, which is recalculated to relative degrees from the current position, then the degrees are mapped into stepper movement and is given the speed, and the stepper goes to the correct position. After that, everything starts from the beginning. And finally, after all that, the split flap display is ready to go.